Uh, yeah, and so the, what's going on with the shingles right now is that uh, they never replaced the shingles and so they just kept stacking more and more on top of the roof and that's why it looks all droopy, hence the name we got the gingerbread house. It looks like a piece of candy out there. <laughs> I uh, believe it's something like in the mid 1800s or so. Wow. Probably when it was built. Uh, it's fairly newer real estate, but it's a fun spot to uh, check out. Uh, what, is, what is this? What is the uh, roofing made out of? Roofing. It's, it's, it's shingles. shingles. Yeah, but they're instead of like a fairy flat, house. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see it now. Now yeah. I see it. Yeah. 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 What's yeah. it like? You can see there's a picture. Oh no. Uh, Still here, you can't see it, which will overlook uh, Tieringham here, which will then loop us back down through the field and bring us right back to the van. So it's a loop hike. That being said, you know, I'll probably nerd out a little bit, talk about the woods, talk about some rocks, awesome. maybe some things that are going on here on the Appalachian Trail. So I'll have some stopping points while we're doing it. Photos are acceptable here. Uh, you can take your phone out. Is uh, evergreen. Uh, sometimes it looks like evergreen plants. These are known as partridge berries. Um, partridge berries, uh, these, act these berries themselves are looking pretty withered uh, just because uh, they've been underneath all the snow pack here. I don't know if I can find a good one, but you could do that as well. Uh, actually, some old growth here that I've noticed. Um, it's not quite easy to identify, but I just know since the summer, this is uh, known as jewelweed. And this is pretty dried up. And this is actually a medicinal plant. So when it's nice and green, uh, what ends up happening is that there's this full of a liquid and you can identify it by these little flowers that grow they're usually orange almost like an orchid, an orchid shaped flower and what this does is if you crack open the stalk all these juices come out and you can use it to put on your skin to help mitigate poison so instead if you're like you don't have steroids or like a cvs nearby like i would say go and uh find julie what th what it does is it grows in bunches so it's easy to find almost like reeds and then it gets really, really stocky. So um, generally, uh, it has another name called the touch me not. And the reason being is because usually what will happen is jewelweed grows around poison ivy. So if you do get poison ivy, good chances is that there is also jewelweed. So you could use that. But uh, if you see jewelweed, you're like, okay, like I don't have poison ivy right now. I can kind of avoid this spot. Maybe that will keep me away from uh, the poison ivy here. Oh, come rapid on, rock. is it really rapid, rapid rock? It sure is. <laughs> so there is luck out there with like these Massachusetts 50, 50 Normally, cemetery levels, they're all horizontal, right? Hiking, walking, and all the cemetery levels are horizontal. So that's it. So we're... Well, maybe someone can take a photo and then send it to you, or airdrop it or something like that. Yes. If you want a photo. Does anyone notice anything weird going on with the uh, Appalachian sign here? More specifically, the one that says Appalachian Trail North South. Um, the T is messed up? No. So, it's the yeah, way. it's the wrong direction. Well, yeah. why would they do that? Uh, <laughs> so, if you were it. to take a compass out, or you've probably got your phone out, this would actually point uh, south. This is where you're going to be, Marriette. And then it goes northbound. Make sure you uh, have your... So it's, it's kind of interesting yeah. if you were to... ...slightly steep up this hill here, and then it levels out.
uh, sheep farms. Huh. And so a lot of sheep farms, and then we had paper mills. That's another big thing here to make paper. Paper making, uh, so that was a lot of uh, paper factories. Not a lot of quarrying going on here, uh, but kind of. If I hadn't told you that, we were actually practicing Shinrin in our own way, right? We're out here, we've all made a space for ourselves, and we're all. Uh, taking in uh, these essential oils, whether we know it or not, we're smelling the air, we're hearing the sounds around us, and we're having this immersion. And you may have noticed, you know, after we got up here to the summit, it got kind of quiet after we took our photos here, we all found our own space, and maybe you noticed something happening with your body. Maybe your heart started slowing down after you got from, the, from hiking up here, and your breathing steadied a little bit. And then maybe you started feeling a little bit differently emotionally. Maybe you felt a calm somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you uh, started letting your mind wander a little bit. Or maybe you just kind of looked around and started touching the trees or feeling the ground through your feet here. Uh, not knowingly, but just actively doing that. And all it takes is about 15 minutes, 20 minutes to be outside in order to reap these benefits. So for those who have really busy lives, um, you know, work in like 40 hours a week, 50 hours a week, 60 hours a week. It is really beneficial just to get out, whether that is, if, even if you're in Boston or New York, uh, you get outside, go to the coffee shop, maybe go to the park, read a book or <laughs> something. Just get outside away from your work environment and breathe in some air or at least schedule something for yourself. You're gonna notice a change in how you're feeling and how you're doing, both physically and emotionally. And so what's great about these essential oils too is it also helps uh, enhance memories, right? So when you smell something, usually you start remembering something, right? <laughs> so this smell here is probably gonna help you remember that time you celebrate the holidays, maybe you're sitting around uh, the uh, the dinner table eating something with your family, or maybe it's, uh, it's a tree, it smells like the forest, maybe it's that campfire you were around, or maybe uh, the hike in the woods you went somewhere, or maybe it takes you elsewhere. Near a glacial rock or by yeah. uh, by water, usually find us. Oh, you guys, how pretty is that? Beautiful.